collection requirements. You've got to have a good understanding of how to play them before you can really get to, you know, that extreme level. Um, or uh, Honestly, a good competitive level. Uh, and then you get to this extent. And it just it just gets even more difficult. So I'm curious to see because this is a lot of top this is a top player matchup that you don't get to see often. Yeah. Now that being said, these characters, as you mentioned, might be fairly similar in some higher execution necessary to pull them off, as well as having some very good speed, mobility, combo tools. When it comes down to it, some of these attributes to the characters are severely different for example the kill power kind of being the big one in my mind the fact that you constantly have banana on deck for diddy you also have a rapid up smash out of shield that can just catch an opponent lacking if they miss space then as for web jp they are going to have to be very much at the ready to execute on a high maintenance kill confirmed compared to what diddy needs absolutely uh, you put it perfectly they're both characters that play in sort of the same archetype, but Diddy kind of trades a little bit more uh, kill power proficiency for what Sheik has in a better combo game, especially at these earlier percents. Yeah, now that being said, I do think Sheik probably has a nice edge in terms of edge guarding. A little bit hard to edge guard Diddy sometimes because of the amount of diversity in their options off stage. But if you can line up the Nair or back air properly, you can sometimes get a cheeky little gimp. That being said though, Webb able to go ahead and fire back after taking quite a bit of percentage from Rivers, but now Rivers back in hand and wow, the forward air into the bouncing fish. Just find that quick slack to uh, push that Kitty Kong off stage. You go ahead, keep the pressure rolling. Yeah, and I love seeing these Z-drop Nairs to immediately catch the banana as well. That is all you need to see to know that a character has proficiency in item play. You have to expect it from someone like WebJP, but I'm really curious to see what the Sheik can do with the banana. Having that extra ability to kind of trip people up and get some extra kill pressure coming through, you can already see the inventiveness coming through with it with mm -hmm. some downers following suit. I wouldn't be surprised if we maybe see some smash attacks falling if it gets it at some slightly higher percents as well. Yeah, and I do think that is the night. Oh, okay, oh. never mind. Looked we both like, saw it though. Yeah, Webb was looking for what se or seemed to be looking for a air dodge. That way they could go ahead and get the smash attack off. Either way, brutal little thing right there. If that trick would have pulled off, it would have been disastrous for Rivers. But as we're saying, we are seeing some of those down airs. Web JP is proficient at leading those down airs into smash attacks. That being said, Rivers finding an up smash of their own to get that first stock. And now Webb is going to be the one needing to find his way through. Yeah, you're seeing some of that momentum from the last game kind of carry through here. Rivers is warmed up and ready to go. Webb going to find a brilliant down smash there, though, covering a lot of options for Rivers to get back up. And you can already see that combo game starting to work its wonders and Webb ready to make some magic happen. But that banana drop, that's exactly what you need for someone like Rivers to just open the doors back up. And that's why you're going to see a lot of even games coming out here. Yeah, Rivers, though. And a little bit of damage gets the command grab and uh, i do love that grenade to go ahead and force rivers to be a little bit more patient at ledge than he would like that being said web still got a little bit of room to breathe now as they have regained control of ledge and forcing rivers to find a way to get back yeah a nice high recovery to platform there as well from rivers web was looking to try and go for a back air which is one of the only ways that she can get some early kills, if you get a back air nice close to the blast zone, that can kill something around 80% if you're lucky enough. But Rivers, seeing the situation unfolding, decided, nope, we're going high. Bypass the situation altogether. And now looking to get some kills going. That down tilt, one of Diddy Kong's best options, great at opening people up, getting combos going, getting kill options later on too. Yeah, and look at that. The banana legs web actually snatching that up making it so that Rivers can't utilize it. And I love the peanut gun. Go ahead, try to force a air dodge. But given that being said, Webb was able to get on through. Back air coming out from Rivers. And they shut down a ledge. I love the banana placement. Web JP just going ahead, doing the vanish over and over again. But sadly, going to get cocked up by that up tilt. Yeah, and it felt very river sided for a while there, but it was a difference of 10% between the two players. That's how close this game is getting right now. A few good hits from Webb. A Reed fishing for any opening to get that up air. 
Webb is looking to get this kill and probably isn't too far away from it, but we've seen what happens if you can't find it. That percent builds up, and one by one, the pieces start falling into place for your own defeat. Yeah, and look at that. It's a little bit of a juke out, trying to make Webb think they were going to the other side, but instead going for that same ledge. And now getting that back hit, maybe looking for another overhead slap, that up tilt, brutal combo starter, or sometimes even kill move. 159, though, right now on Rivers is a scary place to be. On the other hand, Webb has to fight off against some horrific rage. Yeah, 95% you like to have it, but you don't like to be looking at 168, especially when your opponent has the stock lead. And that's a scary situation with the banana coming out. The dash attack is going to come through instead of the up smash, but now we're definitely at kill percent. That up tilt even going to start killing soon too. Web, you got to play perfectly, and we've seen these situations before, just not quite playing to that level. Yeah, no, coming way too close down to the wire for Webb, and they have to clutch up right now. Otherwise, this Diddy Kong is going to be able to crush all of his hopes and dreams. That being said, finally getting that dash attack slash to go ahead, pop Rivers off at the top. And now the overhand slap mentioned it once before. That is going to be it for that stock. Yeah, even without Rage, it is a quick option, and it kills pretty effectively 144 for not having any rage is a very nice percent yes you did have a little bit of help there because web jp was jumping over you and also sheik's a little on the lighter side of things but even still i'm kind of surprised that took the stock as easily as it did right there yeah no looked like maybe you know web was holding up a little bit possibly just because they were getting ready for uh following up more it's hard to tell though either way they're gonna be dropping up that stock and rivers I'm sure is not complaining as this chimpanzee already starting off with a clean little 28 and getting the next hit unable to convert as they wish. And now WebJP able to go ahead, take full advantage, keep it running and try to secure the ledge. And they do so. Get that back air after the down throw. And now once again, just keep things moving. Yeah, I had talked about it the last time we saw Web, but there is some top player adaptation happening right now. River's a fantastic player, able to keep the pace, but you can see already the download that has happened with that first game. It was all information and Web JP playing with a little bit more understanding, a little bit more knowledge, and finding mm -hmm. a really good confirm with that banana into forward smash. Not quite gonna take the stock, but the back air will clean things up for sure. Yeah, no, that's the thing. If the Twin Snake Smash Attack doesn't do the trick, it don't matter. You got the Flying Swallow to go ahead, shut down Diddy on that recovery. Now, Bouncing Fish coming through. Go ahead, pop that grenade right there. Unable to get the confirm off of it. But thankfully for Webb, finally in a strong lead after fighting so hard tooth and nail the last game. Rivers, though, may be able to find a way to put up a bigger fight and re-secure the lead. 9%. I think that's by far the best lead that Webb has had, definitely in this set so far, but also I think in the sets we've seen on stream from him, has had a lot of close games coming through, but this time is in the driver's seat, has a lot going good right now. And you love to see it, honestly. If we can keep this ball rolling, it's just going to make for a more interesting set. Yeah, and I'm excited for it. You know what? I love Web JP. We mentioned it time and time again. This player is immaculate. That being said, Rivers though too has really showcased a immaculate understanding of Diddy Kong's game plan. Though Web right now putting the uh, screws down here, really sealing the nails into the coffin. Rivers almost finding a uh, back air for all that effort to get back to stage, and now going to be dropping that stock. No, the double snake not going to be able to do it. It was close. It was close, but not quite there. I think maybe helped a little bit by the extra bat knockback you get when using a smash attack. But that up tilt, gonna find it, gonna slip right through. It's such a good tool. I feel like I don't see a lot of Diddy's use it for how much I'm seeing it kill right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> what can you say about the overhead slap that hasn't been said before? Great kill move, great combo, to combo tool, great anti-air. That move does your taxes, it feels like. 
That being said, you know what? River's got another tool in his pouch to go ahead and do everything that he needs. That being the banana, as already we are seeing more and more the quick, the corkscrew kick right there to go ahead and finish out that combo. 71 to 137. All of a sudden, what was looking like a great game for Webb has started to come away from them. But right as I say that, Webb finds their hit to get the stop. Yeah, Webb had to come in and quickly smother the fire of momentum that has been burning through Rivers right now. Looked a little scary for a second there, but that kind of opening, even if you lose the stock there, if I'm Rivers, I'm thinking, hey, I just hit a really clean combo on this guy. Maybe I can keep that kind of thing going. Maybe I can keep this getting in his head a little bit more. Rivers still sitting in a pretty good position, 109% on the Sheik. A couple good hits, something with that banana, you might get a good opening coming through here. Right now, though, Webb still got an opportunity to go ahead and stop Rivers from gaining any momentum. But it doesn't look like that is going to happen as now Web JP put right back in the position that you don't want to be. Rivers has showcased a wonderful state of play win in these situations. That being said, banana in hand, Webb can go ahead and shut this down still. 73% lead. Can we find it here? Can we shut it down and bring this to a 1-1? 84%, you have a lead of roughly 70. That is something you want to hold onto, especially as Sheik. You're kind of at kill percent with a couple of options here, but Rivers could easily find something. Hell, there's a down air if you really want to go for it. Might be able to get some early cheese going, but might not even need it. The way that the momentum is staying in River's hands right now might be down in percent, but it's definitely not down in enthusiasm. Really looking to get as much percent as possible right now. Ooh, I will say, mentioning that percent, the needles coming through more and more to go ahead and rack it up against Rivers. But Rivers whipping on the banana throw, and that can be very important. And look at that as I say it. Still living though, ooh, that ooh. double slap, not gonna be able to secure it out. And now Webb really needs to figure their way through here. We've seen it a couple of times already, but the momentum cancel that Bouncing Fist gets you is genuinely such an important aspect of the move. It's the same thing as Zero Suit Samus Flip Kicks. It stops whatever momentum you currently have and just inputs its own. It gets you going back forward in situations where other moves, you know, you might try and use like a forward air or something, their hitbox shift, but you've still got that momentum sending you back and you can still lose your stock that way. Brilliant move to have, brilliant usage by WebJP, and is gonna find a parry on that up smash to charge up a forward smash of his own. 1-1 one, one after a really close game two there. Yeah, and third time is the charm for that twin snake smash attack to get the kill. We saw it two other times, get just the kill spark, but not be able to secure it out. But when he needed it most, it was here, it did not vanish. And now WebJP bringing it to a rubber band game. If you don't know why we call it the rubber band game, it is because of the concept of stage picks. If you win this game, that allows you to have the opportunity in a game five to choose the stage for yourself. And hopefully based on that, have a much better chance of winning a final game five if you drop game four. Absolutely. Game one is almost inarguably the most important game of any set, but I feel like game three is often just as important. It's so critical to see who will have the momentum going forward, especially in a situation like this where Rivers has been running rampant with it. If WebJP can snatch it up and steal it away right now, that is exactly what you want to see in a situation here. So I'm looking forward to see who comes out Ooh. top. Right now it is WebJP almost indomitably. Oh my gosh, the downer. Go ahead, get the stall and fall to shut him down. I think that is kind of the big thing that I'm seeing from Web right now is these call outs on the movement, whether it be the whirlwind to get the drag down wind. Rivers goes ahead and monkey flips over top, whether it be the downer to call Rivers coming after him inside a neutral or catching him with the uh, jump towards him with that down tilt. And so far, Web putting on a clinic of utilizing Sheik's movement and options to shut down and oppress their opponent. Yeah, we've been seeing the program slowly working its way in the background. We saw the rough start in game one, the cleaner start in game two, and now the program has finished downloading. Adobe is no longer slowing down my computer in the background. Now it is time for all systems go, and WebJP is online. 
Mm -hmm. We are fully okay. All right, you know, you could just put the brother in the dirt, I guess. Wed JP bringing it now to a three to one stock. Ripper is unable to convert off of the banana, and now Web continuing it rolling. But Rivers going ahead, throwing out the slam dunk, trying to suffocate him a little bit more. And uh, Web JP has not given up a step so far. Yeah, that stall and fold there, I think that right there might have been a little bit overstretching, but when you've got two stocks to play around with, you can play. You can definitely play, especially when you're playing this hot. Whatever fire Rivers was building over there, the bonfire momentum that built up over the last few sets, forget about it. WebJP has stolen it and made a bonfire out of it. Yeah. Speaking of bonfire, he is coming more and more alive as time goes on. Look at that, the back air, not only to threaten snuffing out River's approach, but also picking up the banana. That being said, these course troop kicks doing their work for Rivers right now. But Webb, right back on stage, not allowing Rivers to shut him down at those ledges where we saw a lot of the magic be worked by Rivers during game number one. Yeah, 80% to 123. It's the kind of situation we've seen Webb in the opposite side of, but now Rivers has to find the answer and the solution. How do you mount a comeback that seems this insurmountable? And the answer right now appears to be down so it's such a great move for Diddy Kong. You can see the up airs trying to follow suit, trying to find a kill confirm. Not quite coming out in time for this poor spider monkey. Yeah, 128 now. We are getting mad close to percentages where all of a sudden it's not so hard for Sheik to get those kills. That being said, 126 on their own stock for Webb. This is getting mad close. Look at that. The banana into the corkscrew kick right as i mentioned it we are finding that rivers finally getting their way through but still has a lot of ground to make up yeah absolutely you've maybe got one potential early out right now if you can somehow find a clean spike but i don't even need to keep that sentence going web jp mm -hmm. is cutting me off just like he's cutting off rivers life support that game two or game three sorry went fairly decisively the way of that chic yeah, no, that was a brutal showing from none other than WebJP to showcase why this character can actually be so threatening when you come into those scenarios of neutral. I, I think the big storyteller when it came down to this game number three is all of a sudden Web came alive, really started to stop Rivers from being able to aggress, whether it be in air on the ground and show a utilization of his moves to control every lane of approach yeah and here we go in what could be the last game of rivers run web jp has set the place on fire looking to burn everything down get back in the grand finals run it back against jackal rivers gonna have to do everything to make it happen also starting a space program with that footstool uh <laughs> Went a little higher than I think everyone was expecting there. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes it happens. I, By the way, the drop down double jump air dodge to pick up the banana as he got onto ledge. Beautiful option, Web. Don't worry. I noticed you. That was tight. Yeah, and again, we're seeing Web just slip up and grab the banana so often. Taking control of the item is so important, especially against a character like Diddy Kong. And you're seeing Webb do it with such proficiency here, stealing it while the down B animation still finishing, while it's on the ground. Any opportunity where Webb can take it, he will. And that's why you see the leads that go into down smashes like that. Webb, you are playing so good right now. Yeah, no, that parry into the whirlwind kick. Beautiful uh, usage right there. It was just the shield flicker where, all right, Go ahead, land on me. I'll punish you for it immediately now. Needles to go ahead and just check the tempo against River. Get the jab inside of the neutral. And now we are shoving Rivers all the way off stage. Can Webb shut him down? Love this, the short hop at roll distance. Finds the hit, keeps Rivers off stage. But you know what? Rivers finally finds his way through with the corkscrew kick. 120%. Not too difficult to kill with if you can get that banana out, but Rivers struggling to even get feet on the ground right now. One of those feet will find the back of Web JP's head, though. That mm -hmm. back are gonna get a nice clean kill coming in. 74% to make up, though. It's not the worst in the world for Diddy to do, but it's not fun to do either. 
You know, oh, you mentioned those down airs, and we are seeing them again lead all the way to a kill right there. Beautiful from Webb, leading into the bouncing fish to get the kill. And now up a whole stock. Rivers, this is the do or die moment. Can you go ahead, get through, show that you want a shot at the king, Jackal, or will Webb go ahead and get his chance? Right now, Webb showing that he is really feeling it. It is a smothering tide right now that WebJP is putting on the momentum here. River's gonna find a beautiful spike though, and just like that, I need to shut up because this game got Dude. a heck of a lot closer. Dude. You know what? Rivers ain't done yet. He is still up, ready, and waiting for the chance. That being said, we are late at night. Rivers, can you stay alive? Can you stay awake as WebJP is firing off on all cylinders, looking to keep the pressure going? Coming into the center, trying to force Rivers to the sides, but Rivers rolling on through, keeping his ability to maintain a distance from Webb at a peak. It, you may have trouble sleeping tonight, but now is the time to take the sips of whatever energy drinks you can find. Rivers fighting on the back foot on a potential mm -hmm. tournament stock right now. Some good options here and there, though. Some good reads, some good item play could absolutely cool you into a game five. Another chance to run it back. WebJP does not want to give any opportunity for that. As long as you can take advantage of Sheik's inability to kill, you might have a chance for it, though. Alrighty, Webby Gaming. Oh, the pop gun to go ahead and snuff out Webb's approach on that mid lane. Now, the banana throw gets the grab and shoves him off stage. Can we keep the pressure rolling? No, miss on the whirlwind, allowing Rivers to regain advantage state. Locked him at ledge, got the back air. Can we keep things moving? The pop gun being avoided by Webb with that jump. And now Webb looking to just play it nice and patient at ledge. And by doing so, just throw to position Rivers into disadvantage. Yeah, and I've been loving the needles that Webb keeps throwing out. It's a stall option that we've been seeing multiple times now. That getup attack slipping on the banana somehow not going to spell disaster for Webb. I cannot believe that didn't close the game, but new lease on life, you got to take it. Webb's still locked in the corner right now. Just needs to find an option against the bouncing monkey. Will not find Dude. it in the back air. Is going to send us to a game five. Absolute nail biter right there as Rivers able to get the call out on the get up option and finish out that stock. But that being said, Webb showcased such a strong proficiency when it came to those combos, especially like that second combo. Oh my goodness, was it amazing! Look at it right here. You go ahead, down air, find the nair to set up into the next nair into the balancing fish. Dude, what else can you say? If you were looking for a clip to summarize why Webb is known as one of the funnest, most amazing players to watch and spectate, that right there. Clip it, ship it, send it to your friends. Trust me, they'll understand. Yeah, no jump, no air dodge window as well. There's nothing you can do there. It's such a good reading and combination of execution and proficiency. But man, Webb makes it look so much easier than it actually is. Yeah, and you know what? He's making this look like light work right now as he is locking Rivers onto that ledge. But right as I say that, Rivers finds the grab after Webb, overextending just a little bit. That has been the one problem is some of these hitboxes are a little small, a little shallow. And so ultimately, Rivers is able to capitalize off the whip punishes. Now, as I say that though, Webb pushing Rivers back off stage. Can he keep things moving? Yeah, you saw Rivers go for the down air there again. It was absolutely the miracle option that definitely gave Rivers the win in that last game. But I'm not so sure how much you're going to get a chance to get it this game as well, especially at lower percents. And that's the difference that you need to make. You need to recognize your options. And WebJP recognizing them really well right now. 80% on the first stock, securing the first one against Rivers. Right now, Rivers playing very patient at this ledge, really wanting to make sure to get this kill before Webb is allowed to get too much extra credit moving and not quite going to be able to do it right there with the up smash, but it don't matter. Webb still locked in this neutral, and look at that, those nares inside of neutral. Great combo into the back to 
air there. It's just simple hits like that that give you the percent you need. You can see the defense web is trying to play right now, holding on to Banana, charging up needles, using them as the projectile he can to create space. Gonna get the trump, but River's not gonna find anything out of it. Yeah, but you know what? 161 now. Rivers have gotten to that point where all of a sudden that overhead slab or maybe even the monkey flip should be able to get a kill. Forget that. We get the forward air the throw. Go ahead. Send him back off stage. And now look at that. Web. One head firing off, but sadly being a little off in placement, causing him to get caught up. And oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now there's a clause about this. I will say it was be... both players who DC. Yeah, it does look like it maybe was a, a system error and not a player error. Unfortunate timing for it, regardless. Um, it seems like the adapter may have been unplugged. Maybe somebody yanked a little too hard on their controller and the adapter went with it. Or is it plugged in? I genuinely can't tell. Maybe either did. way. Uh I'm betting that we're just going to be seeing them resetting into neutral. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're just going right in. Forget okay. that. We're ready to rock and roll. These two players, they've been here for a long time, and they just want to keep things moving. Love that. Banana drop to go ahead, start a little bit of a combo. But you know what? Web not allowing Rivers to just keep things going and keep the pressure running as Web getting the banana. Full needle charge, too. This is a threatening sheet. Yep, and just a quick update for everyone who's not available to read chat right now. They are apparently using a lossless adapter. Webb said his controller had malfunctioned on it, and that's exactly what we just saw. Uh, so they just went back to the regular adapter. Which, crazy to swap between a lossless adapter and a regular adapter in the middle of a set. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you get a little cheeky with it, and it's kind of working out for Webb as they are keeping the pressure going. Unable to land the bouncing fish, though. Hate to see that. But now, jab. Ooh, grab through the jab. Forget that. Rivers sending him right back, and Webb, I love his utilization of jump to go ahead and avoid Rivers' pressure inside of advantage and just move between the plats to regain neutral. Yeah, a great needle there to snipe out the barrels. Just barely going to be able to make it back there. WebJP going to slip up the banana. Wright is getting back to ledge. I don't know. Okay, it, it is on stage. I didn't know where it went for a second there. But just going to toss it to the side. Give a second for things to reset and settle. 160 to 73. Pretty much the same percents we saw for that last stock. But WebJP going to start struggling a little bit to get these kills here. And Ooh. then find the back air. So never mind. And a one clean little back here to go ahead and get that kill and now Webb in the driver's seat can he finish out in this game number five rivers banana in hand getting caught up by the grab and now once again Webb able to continue that off into a clean little 31 pretty good for uh, some sheeps but you know I think Webb got a little bit more in his pocket ready and waiting yeah 86% is a nice amount to be holding on to the double lock with the up tilt. Oh my god, I love that option. The up smash is going to be percent icing on the cake. 71% you love to see it. Rivers, I mean, hey, we saw the comeback happen once. Don't count the monkey out. It can happen again. All right. We got him coming through right now. 116 gets the F tilt and raindrop going to be... The final securer of the stock, WebJP, ready for the run back against Jackal. And hopefully, you know, a little bit more ready than he was inside of winner's finals. Because, man, that did look a little tough for some of the time. Yeah, that was a bit of a brutalizing set. These are two players that are very proficient at this game. And Jackal made it seem like there was miles between their capabilities. Jackal has been playing on a roll this entire night let's get that straight but web jp if you want to be joining the list of sean apple reviewer as the people who have taken games off jackal tonight you've got some momentum on your side you've got the not lossless adapter so no controller malfunctions hopefully now's your time to shine baby light it all up and take it all for your own this is the time to keep that momentum burning and uh, hopefully 
with that uh, change in adapter, maybe that's what Webb needed to go ahead and be at the ready. But that being said, dude, look at that kill by Rivers, by the way. Like, shout outs to him. I, I know, like, he consistently does this, but I just want to make sure to give him his dues. He came in, showed up, and showed why he's considered one of the best inside of New Jersey. And, uh, man, was he a blast to watch. And really came mad close to making that little bit of an upset. Yeah, absolutely. And really proficient Diddy, Diddy, Diddy Kong. I almost said Donkey Kong. Um, and as well, with the, this game as well, the fact that Rivers pulled this game out, that spike right there genuinely changed the game so much. You saw mm -hmm. WebJP went for a double jump there. If an air dodge came out instead, that would have been a bad spot for Rivers to be in. WebJP probably would have been able to get on stage, get more ground to go as well. Just absolutely nuts that that happened. But Rivers... So close, didn't quite get there in the end, but so Dude. well played the entire way. And apparently that was a 6-0 set record as well. 11 to wow. 2, actually. Okay, so, you know, maintaining the lead here overall, making sure to go ahead and keep, keep it shut down in that 11 to 2 set record. So 